All right, look at your past year final exam, problem number 3 on page uh, 33 in your lecture notes. Use Laplace transform to solve the IVP. Y prime plus 4Y equals H, which is heavy side, T minus pi, uh, given Y not equals 1. Okay, so first of all, this condition Y0 equals 1 simply means Y not equals 1. Okay, so your first step in solving the IVP using the Laplace is to rewrite the expression, rewrite the equation in terms of Laplace. So we have Laplace of Y prime plus 4 times Laplace of Y equals at the right hand side Laplace of H T minus pi. Okay. And uh, by this formula that we have here, which you need to memorize, so Laplace of y prime is s y s minus y naught. So you can uh, substitute straight away. Your y naught is one, so I just put here minus one straight away. Plus four Laplace of y. So Laplace of y is y s capital y s equals. Okay, Laplace of uh, heavy side t minus pi at the right hand side. So at the right hand side here, uh, so basically you can directly map to the table of Laplace. Okay, Laplace of heavy side function. So basically here, Laplace of h t minus a is exponent negative a s over s. So since our a is pi, so you are going to replace this a here to be pi. Okay, so the answer is straight away exponent negative pi s over s okay and then um, um, next step is to so this is um, now second step okay so to group together to to factor out the y s so we have y s and then the coefficient would be s plus 4 Okay, and then everything else okay, need to be uh, on the right hand side. So we have exponent negative pi s over s plus 1. Okay, so therefore y s equals, so everything on the right need to be divided with s plus 4. Okay, so we have negative exponent negative pi s over s s plus 4 plus 1 over s plus 4 all right and finally our yp which is the inverse to the ys okay is now the inverse to the two terms that we have previously which is exponent negative Pi, uh, pi s over s s plus 4 plus the inverse to the 1 over s plus 4 okay so now we are going to solve this one second term here and another inverse for the second term here okay so let's assume this is a and this is b so we are going to solve individ individually and finally we need to go back to this one for our final answer all right so for part a okay so we have the inverse to the exponent negative pi s over s s plus 4 Okay, so again, whenever you see the exponent negative uh, something times s, okay, uh, that is multiplied to another function in terms of s, okay, then on the table, we need to refer to this one, okay, we have exponent function multiplied with some function in terms of s, okay, so we map to this one so that we know the answer should be in this form okay so for this part a here so this one is actually mapped to the inverse of exponent uh, negative a s so i can put straight away our a is pi s 
fs. So the answer is supposed to be in the form of f t minus pi h t minus pi. Okay, so now what is the f t minus pi here? Okay, so by mapping the problem that we have to the table, then we know that our a equals pi and then the function fs is okay the remaining terms in the bracket which is 1 over s s plus 4 okay so therefore ft which is the inverse to the fs which is uh, the inverse to the 1 over s s plus 4 okay we want to know the this one. We want to know the ft minus pi. But first of all, we need to know what is the ft. Once we get the ft, we can find ft minus pi. Okay. So this one, again, need to be seen as partial fraction. So 1 over s, s plus 4, actually can be written in the form of a over s plus b over s plus 4. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to just cut the story short. A is supposed to be 1 over 4 and B is supposed to be negative 1 over 4. Okay, make sure you get that. So the FT is the inverse to the 1 over 4 over S minus 1 over 4 over S plus 4. Okay, and then this is now straightforward. This is 1 over 4. Okay, the inverse to the 1 over 4 times 1 over s. Okay, it's 1 over 4 times 1 actually. So we have 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4 exponent negative 40. Okay, so that is our ft. Okay, but what we want to have is the Laplace to this, the inverse to this, which is this one. Okay, so for part A here, therefore, the inverse to the exponent negative pi times s over s, s plus 4, is given by ft minus pi. So since our ft is this one, this is our ft so ft minus pi is basically 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4 exponent negative 4 so at a t here we put t minus pi so everything need to be in the bracket multiply with the h here so we have h t minus pi Okay, so this is our answer for part A. And then for part B, we want to solve this one. Okay, so for part B, we want to find the inverse to the 1 over s plus 4. This is straightforward. No need to rewrite, no need to manipulate. Just refer straight away to the table. This is exponent negative 40 straight away okay so put together a and b so therefore the final answer okay our yt then is a plus b which is okay what we have earlier 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4 exponent negative 4 t minus pi everything in the bracket times h t minus pi plus exponent negative 40 so that's it okay now look at the second example second uh, question question number four use the method of laplace transform to solve y double prime minus y prime minus 2y equals t square direct delta t minus 2 given that y0 equal to 0 y prime 0 equal to 0 okay so first of all this one is our y naught okay equal to 0 and this one is our y naught 
prime which is also equal to zero okay so first step is to uh, write our equation in the form of laplace transform so we have laplace of y double prime minus laplace of y prime minus 2 laplace of y equals laplace of t square delta t minus 2 okay now substitute uh, laplace of y double prime with the s square y s okay so here our formula here s square y s minus s y naught Okay, minus y naught prime. Since our y naught and y naught prime is zero or zero, then we can uh, straight away put this one as minus zero minus zero. Okay, that's our uh, Laplace of y double prime. Minus Laplace of y is s y s. Okay, the bracket over there. Minus y naught. Y naught is also zero. Minus uh, two Laplace of y is y s equals at the right hand side Laplace of t square delta t minus two. Okay. So now on the left hand side we can take out our y s, factor out the y s. Then in the bracket we have s squared minus s minus 2 okay at the right hand side now we look at the solution of laplace of t square delta t minus 2 okay now look at the right hand side here so the solution to the right hand side is actually need to be mapped to so this one we need to map to um, Laplace of Ft delta t minus a, okay, which is exponent negative a s f a. Okay, so whenever you have the direct delta function that multiplied to any function in terms of t then you need to map to this one direct delta okay t minus a times ft so the answer should be exponent negative a s f a okay so by the mapping we know that our a in this case is 2 okay basically by looking at delta t minus a so and then our ft is t squared so since ft is t squared so fa is just so first we write ft equals t squared so therefore fa which is f2 is just 2 squared which is 4 okay so the solution to the right hand side is actually so therefore the laplace of t squared delta t minus 2 is this one exponent negative a s so exponent negative 2 s times 4 okay so 4 exponent negative 2 s okay so now go back to our y s here so therefore our y s then equals to the right hand side solution which is 4 exponent negative 2 s over s square minus s minus 2 okay which can be written further as 4 exponent negative 2s over so this is in terms of bracket times bracket s minus 2 s plus 1 okay if you cannot uh, rewrite in terms of bracket times bracket then you need to do the completing the square so that is our ys okay so our intention is to know what is our yt so therefore second step so therefore our yt then okay is the inverse to the ys which is the inverse to the 4 exponent negative 2s over s minus 2s plus 1 okay 
So this one now can be written as, so if we take out the 4, then this is inverse to the exponent negative 2s over s minus 2s plus 1. Okay, so if we look at this inverse exponent negative 2s over s minus 2s plus 1, so this one now can be mapped to what? Map to the inverse to the exponent negative es times fs, which is supposed to be f t minus e h t minus e. Okay, but don't forget this guy here at the end we need to multiply with the 4. Don't forget this one. Okay, so by mapping the uh, expression that we have to the table. Then for this one, we know that our e is 2 and our fs then equals to the remaining terms in the bracket, which is 1 over s minus 2 s plus 1. Okay, which we know that this is uh, in terms of partial fraction, this is a over s minus 2 plus b over s plus 1. Okay, so we have 1 equals a s plus 1 plus b s minus 2. Okay, so for this one, a is uh, 1 over 3, so this will be a 1 over 3, and b is a negative 1 over 3. Okay, so make sure you get this one. Okay, try to work out on the partial fraction and make sure you have uh, those A and B. Okay, so now our FT then, okay, based on this FS here. So now our FT then is to be the inverse to the A over S minus 2, 1 over 3 S minus 2 plus B which is negative, so minus 1 over 3 over s plus 1. Okay, so now this is straightforward. This is um, 1 over 3 exponent 2t minus 1 over 3 exponent of negative t. Okay, so the solution to the right-hand side term is then, so therefore, the inverse to the exponent negative 2s over s minus 2 s plus 1 is then equal to this one okay um, ft minus a so since this is our ft so ft minus a is basically ft minus 2 so we have 1 over 3 exponent 2 so now t is t minus 2 minus 1 over 3 exponent negative so put the bracket here so we have negative uh, t minus 2 or you can write as 2 minus t so everything in the bracket for this one times h t minus a so t minus 2 so that's the solution to the right hand side term okay but then our solution need to be multiplied with a 4 here Okay, so we rewrite further. So therefore, our final answer, okay, last step. So therefore, our yt is equal 4 times, okay, everything that we have, okay, which is this, this one. So in the exam, you need to write in full, okay, but for the solution here, I'm going to just uh, assume the terms that we have. Okay, is um, star then the solution of yt is then 4 times star okay again in the exam please write in full okay so that's the solution for the bvp okay the um, uh, question number four in your uh, final exam uh, past year final exam okay so 
please um, go through again all the examples that we have in the uh, videos make sure you understand every single step okay and then you can try on your own for problem number one and number two if you have any questions Okay, do not hesitate to contact me immediately. All right. So we have one more subtopic on this chapter, which is uh, 3.7, solving the system of differential equation using Laplace transform. Okay, so until the uh, next video, um, please do your revision immediately. All right.